guys, today I want to come on here and show you how to use a fabric steamer to repair and soften your wig. You guys all know what it's like when your wig just starts to feel a little bit coarse and dry, kind of that straw-like texture, harder to run your fingers through. We hate that. And it's just from the friction and the damage that's caused at the ends of our synthetic wigs. So what can we do to fix this? We know with straight wigs, we can take heat to them, hot comb, all sorts of things. You can boil them. There's tons of things you can do to kind of melt. I hate to use that word, but I use it all the time, but melt and or repair those fibers. But with curly wigs, if you do that, you will lose the curl. And sometimes we love the amazing curl that this wig has. We don't want to sacrifice it. So what do we do? We use a fabric steamer and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. There's really only one thing you need for this video, and that is said fabric steamer. I'll put the link down below for the one that I bought, but like I said, it's like a no frills one. You can get whichever one you would like, but I'll put this one down here. I've used it. I love it. So you guys know that it's a good one. You're also going to need the wig that you want to use for the repair. So here I have Miss Kylie. Um, this is my first Kylie that I've had. I have got, I think I'm on like my second or third because I love her so much but she wears very well as she kind of gets worn in, but she gets to a certain point where the ends are just too much and they are really hard to run through, especially because she's a longer length. So I'm gonna go ahead and use her today to show you guys exactly how you can do this and kind of show you before and after so you can really see what difference it makes. This wig, she's seen better days and you can see all this kind of frizz. She's starting to get that kind of really rough straw-like feeling and no matter how many times I brush her, she's just really hard to get through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to soften her up. All right, so like I said, you're gonna take your fabric steamer and then you're gonna go ahead and add some water to it. And I like to put about a quarter of a cup of fabric softener into that, or you can use any type of um, leave-in synthetic wig conditioner. That's also a great thing to put in there as well. You don't need a ton because it holds a very small amount of water. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on. It just has a little switch on it, so it's nothing crazy. And then you're gonna wait and let the steam start, you know, steaming. And then you're gonna go ahead and take it and slowly go where you need to, wherever there is damage. Th this wig in particular has damage on the ends of it. So that's really where I'm gonna be concentrating. And I'm gonna go very slowly, continuing to kind of move my wrist back and forth, even when I'm working in a concentrated area, which you can do. You just wanna constantly kind of keep moving because it is steam, it does get hot. You don't wanna hold it too close in one spot for too long because then it could damage the curl or whatever area you're working on. It does take a little bit of time and patience. I like to do this when I'm like watching TV or watching a movie or something, but after you kind of get the hang of how to do it and it's kind of a mundane thing to have to do. So you can sit there and kind of watch TV and just slowly move your hand around. You can kind of hold it in an area if that needs to be kind of concentrated. Just keep moving your hand back and forth, but you can definitely work a specific area if you notice there's somewhere that needs a little bit more work than another. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, you can kind of see that it's getting a little less frizzy and you're gonna see too that it's getting a little damp, but it's not too much. You just wanna make sure it doesn't get soaking wet. I like to do this while it's still a little bit warm just because it helps me kind of mold those fibers um, where I want them and kind of helps just smooth them and repairs them a little bit better. But as you can see here, this is the one side. So the one side, you can kind of already tell that it's starting to get softer. You can see that it's not as poofy and frizzy. I'm able to run my hands through it a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna slowly continue to work in those areas, concentrating in places that I need to until I feel like it feels the way I want it to. This is really the easiest thing to do. It's just knowing like how to do it the right way. So I wanted to just show you guys, so now you know, you can do this on your straight wigs if you want, but you definitely can do this on your curly wigs and it's gonna help maintain the curl while still repairing your wigs. This also little tip 
is great as well if you want to curl a wig. You can take um, like the rolling curlers and take this to it and then let it set and cool and it'll give you a nice curl as well. So there's a lot of different things you can use the steamer for, not just to repair your wigs. I will go ahead and work on some of those other things you can do with them for you guys since I don't have any videos about the steamer and it's actually super, I think, underrated and slept on. So I want you guys to know all about it so that you can use it on your wigs as well. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifications on all the videos I do in the future. Again, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.